All right, good people. I'm asking you to do array one, the first six problems. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that uh, right now. So the first six, um, I'm gonna set the font size to nice and big. That was a little tiny. Given an array of ints return, so on all these first six, there's no need to do any looping problem. There's no loops. So return true if six appears as either the first or last element, the array will be length of one or more. And they have a hint here. Um, uh, and they tell you how to find the first and the last. So um, anyway, what we want to do is say if nums zero equal equal six or nums now the last element is uh nums dot length minus one equal six so if either of those is true return true else return false and you don't have to say else because if you return true the code just stops running and immediately goes back to whoever called it and so if it ever gets to this last line, it's like an else. But yeah, if you did an else, that would also work. But you don't have to. Um, so I'm mean, just to be very clear, you could say else. And um, everything will still work fine. OK. Oops. I was trying to hit the same first last. Given an array of integers, return true if the array is length one or more, and the first element and the last element are equal. So um, here's one where. I would recommend just adding a check if nums.length equal equal zero return false. That just takes care of, because they're telling you this, this is like a hint that they might not have one or more values in the array. OK, and now we'll, we can check the first and the last uh, being the same. So if nums zero equal equal nums. And then in here, we're going to say nums.length minus one. That's the last one. We're going to return true. Otherwise, return false. This should be it. Um, and I'll show you what happens. If I take that first line out, uh, notice it fails an out of bounds exception. And that's where they send an empty array. So that's why we did that check. And to me, it's just easier to take care of that as an initial like sort of pre-flight rather than to try to tie it into our main if statement. Um, let's see what they did. So they threw it all into one. Not so bad. If nums.length greater than or equal to one and you know that other thing is true. Yeah, so that works fine too. It's all good. Uh, the next one, they want you to return an int array that has the first three digits of pi. So what I would do is say int array pi equals, and then use a, 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 a list, an array initializer, sorry, 3 comma 1 comma 4. So I just made this array, and I'm returning pi. There you go. Sound effects free of charge. Next, uh, common end. Given two arrays of ints, A and B, return true if they have the same first element or they have the same last element. They'll both have at least one or more elements in them. Cool. So if A, A dot, let's see, let's do if, if A zero equal equal B zero, or A, A dot length, Minus one equal equal b b dot length minus one. So that's if the first ones are the same or the last ones are the same. Then we want to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. New sound effects for that one. Um, sum three. Given an array of ints length three, return the sum of all the elements. All right, we can just do this on one line. Return nums 0 plus nums 1 plus nums 2. And there you go. And no sound effects on that one. And this is our last one. 
Uh, they want you to rotate everything left. So an array of one, two, three will return two, three, one. It's like the one on the left went to the far right and the other two moved over one to the left. Okay, and in my instructions, you may not have noticed, but I asked you not to change nums. So uh, you can totally do this. Uh, you can do this quite easily. So let's make a new int array called new, new nums. And it equals, and you can use the uh, list uh, array initializer, and we can actually say nums one, comma nums two, comma nums zero. Just lay it out like that, and then return it. Return new nums. That'll, that'll get the job done. It's good form in Java to not change an array or a variable that's passed into a method. So that's why we made a new array that we're uh, making to be the right thing. All right, let's verify that is the first six. Alrighty, good times.